Carolyn Doobie here. What's the play for today? Well, today I'm playing around in my art journal, and you're gonna see it start out as just kind of a random kind of play thing, but then my muse decided to drop a little bit of meaning on me. She had a message for me that I really needed to hear today. The journal that I'm working on is an old vintage ledger that I have turned into an art journal. By the way, how did I turn this into an art journal? Well, I just opened it up and started doing art journaly things on it. There was no fancy prep work. I haven't gessoed anything. I am just working right on these pages. I'm using the 5x7 gel press plate here. That way I can mono print some of the color and the pattern on there using that mask of those three ladies. That's part of the Finding Your Tribe mask and stencil set that I created for over at Stencil Girl Products. And right now, I'm just putting stuff on here willy-nilly. This is not a big thinking time. This is a grab-and-go kind of thing, as I'm just getting color and the three ladies all over the page. Now, I don't think there's any kind of plan going on right now, or at least not one that I'm consciously aware of, but it turns out the muse has something very definitely in store for me. But before she's going to reveal that to me, she expects me to do a little bit more work here. So I'm filling in some more color around the shapes. And things are going swimmingly. I'm feeling loose. I'm feeling free. I'm just working on these pages and having a great time. But the other shoe is about to drop on that. So you ever do something when you're art journaling and right after you do it, you go, oh, that is exactly what happened to me with these three circles. Now, as soon as I felt that knot in my stomach, I knew exactly what I needed to say. I needed to say, oops, this is an outstanding opportunity presenting suddenly. Even if I have no clue what the opportunity is right now, it is an opportunity in some way. So for the next layer, I decided to do some stamping with paint. I've just got a layer of paint right there on that gel plate, and I'm going to use that as the ink pad to get the ink on the stamp. Now watch my indecision here. So I've got the paint on there, making sure I've got a nice even coating of paint on the stamp, and then I'm going to try and decide where I want to put it. Am I going to put it up here or down there? I'm up here, down there. Where's it going to go? And how funny that I end up going back to the place where I originally thought I was going to put it. Now, I put the mask right back on top of those three ladies so that it protects them so they aren't going to get any of the stamped image on them. So when I lift them up, it looks like I had done a whole bunch of planning to get the stamping done in the background, that kind of thing. But really, I'm just cheating with that mask and putting it on top of stuff to protect wherever it is that I'm stamping. Now, if you're new to gel printing or you want to know more ways to use a gel plate, head on over to my blog at acolorfuljourney.com where I've got a whole bunch of different resources to help you out with that. Now, I'm going to clean the blue off of that plate and I'm just going to take a print with it. And I got to say, it's not my favorite print. Now, as I go and do more cleanup from the plate onto that piece of paper, the layers are going to build up. And what started out as a print that I really didn't like is going to become one that I like a whole lot more. Now, the rubber stamp that I'm using, I'd love to tell you exactly which company that's from, but I can't remember. That, to me, is probably the biggest drawback to an unmounted stamp is just that you don't know the name of the company who ever created it. But I will do my best to figure that out, and when I do, I will have it linked over on my blog, again, over at acolorfuljourney.com. So now that page that was the ookie print in the beginning has really transformed into one I like a whole lot more thanks to doing some more cleaning off of the plate onto that same paper. Now at the beginning of this video, I said that my muse brought me a message that I really needed to hear today. And that's, this is the point where the message became clear to me. As I chose the words to use off of my uplifting word stencil that I created for Stencil Girl, I realized that this is kind of an ode to friendship. Those people that I just don't get to see often enough, but it so fills up my soul when I do get to see them. This is almost like they stopped by for a visit in my art journal. Now, it always brightens my day when I get to see these old friends. Oh, shit. Okay, wait, let me, now that I've said that, let me clarify that before I hear from them. I'm not saying that they're old in years. What I'm saying is we've been friends for a lot of years. So let me just make that clear. I'm not calling my friends old. 
Well, before I dig that hole any deeper, I'm gonna get back to the art happening on this page. So I'm taking a paintbrush now and I'm painting over the gaps or the bridges or the breaks that are in the letters that, you know, work because, you know, stencil, you have to have those kinds of things. But by painting over them, no one will know if this was a stencil, a stamp, or if, gasp, maybe I actually hand painted this whole thing. Now, you and I both know I did not hand paint all those letters because I do not have that kind of handwriting skill. But thanks to being able to cheat with that stencil, no one will know that but you and me. I'm gonna finish up this art journal page with a little bit of journaling. I'm using a pit pen to do this and I did let the paint completely dry because if the paint is not dry, it is very hard on pens. Trust me on that one. So what am I scribble journaling on here? Well, I am just reminiscing with my friends that stopped by some of our favorite stories together. And yes, some of them are a bit embarrassing, so that's why it's most definitely being written in scribble journaling, because I'm probably in enough trouble for calling them old friends. If I start telling our secrets too, then I'm really gonna be in some hot water. Well, thanks so much for stopping by to play. If you've been enjoying this video, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll know as soon as I have another video out. And of course, if you would like more fun, head on over to the blog at acolorfuljourney.com where I have things like my free workshop called Permission to Play. And you bet I've got all sorts of playlists over on YouTube, so check those out. Thanks so much for letting me be a part of your colorful journey.